Hey, what's going on everybody? Thanks for tuning in. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to remove the sediment filter on a Springwell whole house water filtration system and replace it with a new one. It's a pretty simple task if you have the right tools, which all of us should, and if you follow these simple steps. So instead of talking anymore, let's get started. All right, so here and there, are really the only tools you're gonna to need, items you're gonna need. I like to have a bucket to put underneath the sediment filter you know, a towel as well. You're going to need this for your hands and to clean up any mess. Uh, a utility towel. Don't take one from like the linen closet or whatever, all right? Uh, the sediment filters that I ordered from Springwell, these come in a two-pack, which is great. And then these will come with two gaskets and two little tubes of lubricant, all right? You're going to use those. All right, so there's the system, right? And naturally, you're going to have your water shut off over here, which is going to be step one. We're going to shut off the water to the house. All right, turn that off. All right, that's shut off there. Also, you're gonna set your tanks to bypass as well. All right, and then if you have any other bypass systems, which you should, I just turn this one off and I'm gonna keep this one off for just a moment. And we're gonna go up to step two. Okay, step two, you're gonna run cold water. And with everything shut off, this is eventually gonna turn off. Oh yeah, the kids had some water ice tonight. Uh, this will shut off and that'll relieve all the water pressure, all right? You can run a couple different faucets if you want. So we're gonna let this go. We're gonna move on to step three once this is finished. Okay, for step three, you're gonna be removing the sediment filter. So you wanna take your bucket, obviously, and place it somewhere below here so it will catch all the water that's gonna come out of here. Because there is water even though you shut everything off in the house, all right? Okay, now, if you relieved all the pressure in the house, you'll be able to get this sediment filter off like this with just a little bit of muscle. If you did not remove all the pressure in the house for some reason, if you had to do that, there's this vent here. You can turn this on, all right? Open it up and it'll relieve any pressure. Right now, nothing's coming out because all the pressure has been released. Uh, if there was back pressure in here, pressure built up, it would vent out through this, all right? So now we can take this and take it off. And then loose, unloosen, un, you know, loosen it by hand. It might get a little wet. Can't remember. All right, and that's that. Okay, so now you've got your old gasket here, and you have your sediment filter right here. All right, as you can see, it's been set catching some sediment. So we're just gonna drop this in here. All right. Dump that out. I give this a wipe out with the towel. And then you're gonna pop the sediment filter off with whatever you have. Just, you know, get an edge under there. Take off the old sediment filter. All right, so I clean that out on the inside. Next, we're gonna take a filter and we're gonna insert that in there. And you just drop it in. Just set it right there. There's a, there's a hole that this will fit on. You put it there. I like to clean this little groove right here before I put the next gasket on. Then I take the lubrication you get, tube, the tube of lube, and then what I'll do is I'll just put a be little bead of it around here, all right, of lubrication on the gasket, and then we'll put it in here. Kind of rub it around. Gonna put it inside in the gas, put the gasket right in there where it fits. Okay. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is just put this back on. Make sure you thread it correctly, tighten it by hand to start, and you'll know it's you'll know it's threaded correctly because it's gonna spin freely like this. Right? Tighten it by hand as much as you can. All right, that's in there tight. Make sure you close your vent if you did open that, okay? All right, you got your sediment filter on, right? Everything looks good to go. Uh, it's sealed up there. It's nice and even, all right? Not cross-threaded, obviously. What we want to now do, we're going to turn our, turn our shutoffs on. All right, turn the filter off bypass. And 
turn the water back on to the house. All right, two more things before this video wraps up that I want to remind you to do. First, go upstairs when this when you're finished and finish putting on the sediment filter and run your faucets for a few minutes. It clears out any air pockets, things like that. Second, I have a little hack that'll help you to re help you remember when to change your filter within that three to six month range uh, instead of kind of forgetting and maybe tasting the water get funky or something like that. So come take a quick look. All right, I've got a Sharpie. Where is it? I've got a Sharpie in my pocket, all right? And got this wood board here. So all I'm gonna start doing is write the date that I put the sediment filter on. So today is Wednesday uh, the 19th because the 21st is my wife's birthday. So yeah, we're gonna go 7-19. That's that. All right, so now I know that's when I put in the filter. And then I know to change it within that three to six month range, right? So I hope this video helped everybody. If you got any questions, drop them in the comments. Take care of each other out there. Be kind. Peace. Oh. <laughs>